Hey there, social shines, it's Michelle here. And guess what? It's finished. It is finished. Oh my goodness, it is finished. The multivalence. It was a mystery crochet along from Expression Fiber Arts. It was last year's 2023. So I did my January clue in January, my February clue in February, all the way up until my August clue in August. It was doing so great. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I got so much Christmas. So many things to do for Christmas that I did not do September's clue. I did not do October's clue. I did not do November's clue. And I did not do December's clue. In January, I did September's clue. Yay! In February, it was blanket month. It was my mystery yarn challenge choice to do a whip. And so if you haven't already seen it, um, part one right here shows you the October glue. And I finished that the first part of February. I was so excited. Yay, 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 yay. And then I finished in here. I have to kind of ramble a little bit because the eye cards don't like to be close together. That's just how it is. Anyway, finished number two. The Mystery Yarn Challenge reveal number two. And that was clue 11. And as of a few minutes ago, I finished, including making sure all the ends were woven in, I finished clue number 12, I finished the blanket, and I finished my mystery yarn challenge, and her original deadline, Lori the Armchair Shelf's deadline, was March 10th. Today, I am recording this on March 8th. Woo! 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 Yeah, I did good. I did so good. I gotta take a drink. Before, before I show you the finished object let's talk about yarn oh i gotta make this small so i can see my little list there we go there's my little list oh it's not quite small enough so close there we go i have it so i can see me and make sure i'm holding things up and then i can just see my list over on the side it's very nice very nice indeed so the circle for the center in here somewhere was this purpley color that's kind of a purple gray if I hold it over here it's like way too gray let me move this that's not purple enough it's not showing up purple let me change the setting on this nope looks very gray Nope, looks very gray. Okay, well, hopefully I can mess with the coloring because this is a really pretty purple. It is the color Heather. Now, I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm only going to read the yarn band from one of the yarns. They are all Yarn Bee Yarntopia. Um, all 12 yarns. It took 12 colors to make this blanket. And so. Oh. Alright. The originally were 4 ounce balls. Okay. Or hey, or skeins. 4 ounce skeins. Um, like I said, this is the color Heather. Um, for you grams people, they were 113 grams. 312 yards. 285 meters. That was the original. I have no clue what the yardage and meterage is, but I, excuse me, I did weigh ounces and grams so that you can understand that. It is, these are 100% acrylic. They're soft. They're very soft. Uh, they're a two weight, so they're a bit on the thinner side, which I love. Oh, I didn't check that with my project. Cool. Um, they call for or recommend, I should say, 3.25 millimeter knitting needles, which apparently is a US 3 or UK 10, or 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, which is 
um, US 7. I've never heard us call number 7. UK 7. Uh, 4.5 is the like bigger G size because G for some reason has two different, two or three different sizes. I've seen it 4, I've seen it 4.25, and I've seen it 4.5. So the bigger G is a 4.5. Okay. That's the recommended needle size. That doesn't really matter. In my project, I used a 4. A G4 or whatever. A 4.5. Uh, who cares? Let's forget the letters for a second. I used a four point millimeter crochet hook. Okay, this is a crochet project. So they start out as four ounces, or what did I say? 113 grams. So the color Heather, there is 1.66 ounces, 47 grams. That's what's left. It's a fairly decent amount of yarn. I'm liking that. Okay. Let me that aside next color we're looking for the white okay here's the white one it is the color called white again your utopia this is what I have left and it is 210 yards 1.48 ounces no 210 yards oh I don't know what that was that's what the thing said it called for I'm not, maybe it's accurate. Anyway, don't worry about that. You can look in, in actually some of this information is on my project page and I'm probably going to update the yarn um, that I use. So if you want to go to my Ravelry yarn page or project page for this, you can see some of the information. I'm like what colors I used, where yarn I got. Um, and I'm going to go in and see if I can figure out how to in a note or in the yarn thing, write what I used, what I have left. So I was saying this is 1.48 ounces or 42 grams. So again, a fairly decent amount left. And next color, this is one of my favorite colors. This color is called Spice. It is kind of a rusty color, but it's more pink than um, a rust color. So what I might do is at the end I will put a picture because I can don't I can't always get the coloring to look right on video but usually pictures you can. So I think I'll put a picture up at the end of all the yarns. So there is 0.74 ounces only 20 only 22 grams left which is really sad because I do like this color a lot. Um, so there's not as much of that one, but it is not the smallest amount left. Okay, next one, this peachy color, it's called Blush, and it is, it, it is a super, super light peach color. What I see on the screen right now, and like I said, I'm going to try and fix that, sorry about the sound. Um, what I see on the screen is more yellow, but this is more, it's got a lot more pink in it. I don't, I can't get it to pink in this color. Anyway, 1.69 ounces, 48 grams. So that's a decent amount of that as well. And next color is Scarlet. Scarlet is gorgeous in my opinion. It is a red. It is a cooler toned red, but it's also very light like it's a red it's definitely red but it's really light as well and this one there's 0.78 ounces or again 22 grams so the nice thing about this one is I do have two other skeins of this color although they're not in the same dye lot but that's okay because I have plans for this year and I'll tell you about them in a second let me go through all of them so scarlet ivory for some reason I was calling this old lace maybe because it looked like old lace but it's the color ivory. Um, so it's an ivory. It looks ivory on the screen right now, but it's a little bit more pinkish, but not like peach, but I don't even know. It's, it's kind of a, looks like a really light brown. Almost, no, my skin's more pink than this. Anyway, uh, this is 2.22 ounces or 64 grams. So far, this has the most grams of every, anything that I've showed you. So it's 64 grams of ivory. Very fun 
Like I said, these are very soft, so I'm excited for these yarns. Um, the next color is called Rose, and again, it is a pink color. I really wish these would, would come up on the camera well. Um, 0.92 ounces, 26 grams. And then we've got Ocean. Now, I'm not really sure about the name of this one. It's called Ocean, but it's green. It's really pretty green. I love this green so much. I want lots of this green. Um, so this is called Ocean. There is 1.48 ounces or 42 grams, so a fair amount of that color. Um, and then... This color is called Pearl. It is basically a gray, silvery gray color. And there is 1.2 ounces or 34 grams. Okay. Um, and then Cerulean. Ooh, okay. This one makes me sad. I'll tell you. This is one of my favorite colors on here. Out old times so gorgeous and this is how much i have left this color is cerulean it's a really really pretty blue it's a gray blue but barely any gray in it most of these colors have just the tiniest drop of gray in them and i really love them they're just really beautiful so there's 0.39 ounces 11 grams this is the smallest amount i have left it makes me sad because it is such a gorgeous color, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I mean, like, that means it's in here, right? It's in my blanket. Um, then the color Anchor. And it's this gray color, like a darker gray. It's really pretty, too. I like all these colors. The only one that I'm not super fond of is the blush one. Anyway, this is 1.2 ounces, 29 grams. And then the last color that I just finished with is called Cerulean Sea. It is a lighter version of the blue. And it looks so silvery. And not as, you know, it, it's blue, but it has such a silvery sheen to it. It's like if you took this and the gray and kind of mixed them together, you'd get silver. Um, this is 1.27 ounces, 35 grams. So my least amount, the one that's got the least amount left, is my cerulean which i absolutely love and the one that i have the most of is ivory so that's what i have left in yarn there are 12 all together somebody had given me this bag it's uh from yay yarn or yarn yay sorry yarn yay from 2022 they'd given me this bag and I've kept this blanket project in here for so long and now it's like over. It's so weird. Anyway, before I show you the blanket, let me tell you what I'm planning to do. I have I need to double check the pattern to see what yarn weight it takes. But So even if it doesn't take the same weight, I can work with it because um, what I'm making is this ELF, E-L-F, which is something about the freeing the house elves I think there's a, there's an acronym for it and I can't remember off the top of my head but it is from the Harry Potter books because Hermione was making hats and some of the house elves would just wear tons and tons of hats because the whole thing with the house elf is if you're presented with clothes you're free and you are no longer an elf you know you're no longer a servant so um Hermione was going to around freeing the house elves and she would make them hats. She learned to knit and made them hats. And so this is some, a pattern that I found because of Shannon of Another Yarn. And I fell in love with it so much that I was decided that I'm going to make a version of it. Now, I do want to try to probably try to use all the colors. Although, I might leave out a couple of them. But the hat calls for basically seven colors. It's really easy to add in different colors. 
different people have done. You can do stripes on one thing, you can do a little pattern, you can do a little color work here or there. And so basically you're just making the ribbing and then there's like some short rows to make it up a little bit higher so when you attach the next ribbing it looks like it's covering a hat and you just kind of work that up until the end. So my goal is to use these. That little tiny blue, um, there's some color work band in the top hat. I think that would be a really fun place to put it, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how it goes as I get going on it. So that's my plan for that. Now you guys are like, okay, but we didn't come here to see your yarn. We didn't come here to find out what you're going to do with your leftover yarn. We want to see the project. I know. I know. I know these things. Fine. Fine. I'll show you. So we... start out with our circle in the center and then it moves out with the white this is that heather color and then we got in that spice color it's just gorgeous the peach color brought in a cup bought the heather and the white back in if I were to do this again knowing what it looks like I would plan it a little differently so that both colors popped but this instead of this white blending in so much with that peach blush color. Then the next one is this gorgeous color lit color. I love it so much. And that was just a really fun lace pattern as well. And then we came in with the ivory and oh that ivory is gorgeous. And then we pull in the rose but they also pull up the sand or the spice and the scarlet in with that rose and uh, might be like from scarlet to rose right there, that section might be my favorite part of the entire thing. Just saying. Um, they pulled up in the, when they did the green, we also pulled that heather back up in. So it was kind of fun to bring that back up in there again. And we had a silver section, that gray pearl, I think is what they call it, brought in the white bobbles again. Then all oh, my favorite blue right there has a nice lovely little stitch pulling into the anchor with another lovely stitch and this is what we have on the outside with that blue it is gorgeous it is stunning let me hold it all up like this oh, lots of ways isn't that gorgeous guys look at that oh so pretty so much muchness I'm, I just love it so much. It is approximately pretty much my arm span from fingertip to fingertip. Um, at least maybe not very tank fingertips, but pretty darn close. It is just seriously gorgeous. So gorgeous there. So I am excited. I am grateful to have finished it. It was fun to do it as a mystery yarn thing and just be like, I'm not showing you until the clues are done. And now it is done, done, it is finished, it is great. Um, some people wear them as like a shawl kind of thing. Um, it's supposed to be either a shawl or a blanket. It's a round mandala shaped blanket. Oh, because I know sometimes, sometimes people carry in the back. Here's what my back looks like. It's not too bad. Um, bobbles definitely say this has got a right side bobbles and then this um, stitch down here has some texture that says that it's that but it's really pretty. Um, got some great lace work in there and just oh just stunning all the way stunning so I'm excited about it so excited I'm happy to be done and with that February's mystery yarn challenge whip version is done it is finished I am done and now I'm ready to get working on my March one which if you haven't already watched the reveal go watch it here 
and also it will be in the Mr. Yarn Challenge playlist, which is one of the things that I link at the end of the video. So, uh, Lori's playlist is also. Wow, so many noises on the thing. Lori's playlist is also um, put at the end of my videos for each month. So she has, this is the February one for the, so the 224 will be at the end of the video and in my March 324, the 324 playlist is there. Um, and then you can go check out those to see what everybody else has done and whatever she adds. It's fun to go watch. Um, I don't always remember to go watch them, but I definitely think it's fun. So with that, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be, whether they be small projects or big projects, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!